In this video, we will create the footer of the post. So after the image, let's start this. Right after the image asset, we will say right now the, oops, the image. So this is the footer image, footer post. That's it. Okay. So what we will do in this one, we will need to create all the icon button inside the footer. So we will start with a row widget. And inside this one, we use the argument children. Good. In the children, we'll need to use the icon button. So we start to be pretty good with this one. Icon button. And the icon argument will take the icon widget and try to do it by yourself right now, the icon uh, widget. And pause me on the, this video and try to do it. So we're going to do the icon button and inside we have the icon, the icons dot and we will use the favorite border. I will format my document and I will change my null for an empty function. So oops, sorry, an empty function just like that. I will put my comma at the end and I format my document. Good. After we will need to create uh, four buttons. So as you can see, we have the like one and we will need to create three more buttons. I will copy this one and I will paste it three more times. One, two, and three. The second one will be the chat bubble outline. Oops, chat bubble outline. The third one will be the label outline, this one. And the fourth one will be the bookmark. So it will be the bookmark border. Here we go. So we have our four icon, but this one should be at the end. So to put as much space possible between those two icon, we use the widget called the spacer. Exactly. So we will put a spacer between those two last button. And then, oops, we'll put my comma. And then, as you can see, we have the footer of our publication. Last step that we need to do inside this page will be to change the um, commentary section. So we will add a little commentary section uh, right after the footer. So see you on the next video. Bye.